Last weekend, my family saw Paw Patrol, the mighty movie to celebrate my son turning 18. My son has wolf Hirschhorn syndrome. This means that he's often been the smallest, weakest, and least in his class. It's hard for him, because he's often only able to watch as his peers do what's too difficult for him. He loves it when we can set aside a whole day dedicated to just him. Over the summer, our local theater had $2 Tuesdays, and one of the movies that we saw together was the first Paw Patrol movie. On the way out of the theater, my son saw the poster for the second movie. I tried to convince him that it was the movie we had just seen. When the first movie first came out, it was just as the pandemic was closing and Nickelodeon made the decision to release the movie simultaneously on their streaming service and in theaters. Our local theater made the decision not to host movies that were streaming. That meant that we had to watch the first Paw Patrol movie at home the first time. I didn't want to promise my son that we would see a movie in the theater if it was going to be that difficult to find. My son is smarter than he lets on sometimes. Within an hour of getting home, he had found a trailer for the upcoming movie and proved it was a different movie. We looked up the release date. I was amazed to discover that the movie was coming out the week after his birthday. My son was ecstatic. We arranged a party at our local theater in their party room once. We were sure the movie was coming here. The party was a complete success. This movie focused on Skye. It turns out that Skye was the run of her litter. That means that she was often the smallest, weakest, and least among her peers. She escaped her home to join Ryder, the leader of the Paw Patrol. She is given the job of flying the team's aircraft, where she has to watch as her teammates do what's too difficult for her. While my son told me that Rubble was the last pup added to the Paw Patrol, this narrative portrays Sky as added to the Paw Patrol at a time when Ryder wasn't looking for a new pup. The first movie said that Marshall was Ryder's first pup. If Sky was the second to last, there's an interesting book in there. From there, the main story arc takes shape. The arch-villain Victoria Vance miscalculates the power needed to pull an asteroid out of its orbit, and instead of bringing it to her hideout, ends up accidentally destroying the Paw Patrol base of operations. Ryder is able to retrieve the meteor and bring it back to their aircraft carrier for analysis. By the way, how many t-shirts does that 10-year-old boy sell? enough to build a tower by transforming vehicles for seven pups and to buy an aircraft carrier. That's a lot of shirts. Once there, Sky discovers that the meteor grants her superpowers. She becomes a Superman analog with the power to fly and super strength. Determined to prove that she's not small and insignificant, Sky takes the shards of the meteor and goes after Victoria Vance on her own. That encounter ends with Victoria in control of all the pieces of the meteor and a powerless sky imprisoned in Victoria's lair. Shenanigans ensue between the other pups and their rival, former Mayor Humdinger. At the end of that encounter, the pups are once again in control of one shard of the meteor, which they trade back and forth in a battle to free Sky and then ultimately regain control of all their powers. Unfortunately, that's not the end. In a grab for even more power, Victoria called down a meteor shower in the hopes that more meteors would yield more power. It's up to Sky alone to destroy as many of the meteors as possible, since she's the only pup that can fly. The climax of the movie is my son's favorite part, with Sky given all the meteor shards and sent off in a display of trust from her teammates and a demonstration of her abilities. She is able to successfully destroy the meteors before they impact Adventure City, taking her place alongside her friends on the aircraft carrier as the hero of the day. This was definitely a fun movie, and I'm hopeful that they will make more movies in this franchise. My son hopes that the next movie will focus on Zuma, the water dog.